hi it's Mary again welcome back to the paper turtle I am here with another haul video I believe this one is number nine and um, as usual I've got some fun stuff going on there and I just wanted to say I really appreciate all of you new subscribers um, not sure where you're coming from but I appreciate it and keep it coming if you like my videos hit that subscribe button um, give me a thumbs up leave me a comment or two um, well just one comment that will be enough um, that's fine um, anyway sit back and enjoy the haul and I hope you find something you like okay to start with um, we need to move mr. turtle out of the way I picked up this um, Raggedy Granny Stories book. I have not seen this book before. I am, um, as I've mentioned before, a collector of Raggedy Ann and Andy, and this book is new to me. Um, it is not written by Johnny Gruel, but it is written by Johnny Worth and Justin Gruel. And it says, and others. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm, that's wrong. Sorry. It's written by Doris Thorner Salzberg. And it's illustrated by Johnny Worth and Justin Gruel and others. And I noticed that in it, there's um, places where they have... I'm sorry, I need to see if you're in frame here. You are, okay. Places where they have illustrations and they have them marked that they're from the old books. So that one's copyright 1941. Um, so a lot of the illustrations are actually by Johnny Gruel. Um... Like this one is from the 1918 books. So I thought this was very interesting. And I got this, I think, for like 50 cents. So that's going in my collection. And then I picked up a few little golden books. I am very, very soon. I know I keep saying this, but very, very soon. I'm going to be putting some of these in my shop because, in my Etsy shop, because I've just got a pile of them. And I will never in my lifetime make this many little golden book journals, so I need to pass these along. So I got two Winnie the Pooh ones, a Bambi, I love Bambi. I think I might make a Bambi one. And Raggedy Ann, and this one, I have to check my collection, and I know I have it, I probably have a few of them, but whichever one is in the best condition is the one that I will keep, and then I will um, get rid of the others. So those are those books. I have some more books, but they're they're in the bags. Um, this is a roll of wallpaper border. I just thought it was interesting. Um, something a little different. I'm not sure exactly how I'll use it, but I'll figure it out. And let's save that. I got these two rolls of ribbon, it's fabric ribbon. I just thought that it was a little bit different. Um, Oof, yuck, that needs to be cut off. Let me do that right now and get that. That's, uh, I'm not going to say what that is. <laughs> I know what it is, and if you live in Florida, you know what it is, too. So we'll just uh, move along. <laughs> so I just thought the ribbon was really pretty. And this one, if you can see that. Picked up those. I have to be very careful what I'm getting now because I'm running out of money. <laughs> I give myself a monthly allotment and um, I usually don't spend it all, but this month I spent it all. So I need to start really only picking up things that are very different or that are necessary. But this was pretty. Um, that's a little bit different. I don't have anything like that. This is not different. <laughs> But I use it a lot, and it was only 25 cents, so sometimes I just have to get them if they're really inexpensive, because, well, just because. This is a very cheapy bracelet. It's the, the, the these beads on it are, are plastic, very plastic, but it had some cute charms that I can add to dangles, and it's okay if those are cheap we don't need to put you know solid gold and sterling silver on our journals 
if we do then those of you who sell them should jack up the price a little bit but there's um a dolphin and there's a couple of keys and the moon and i just thought that the charms were cute and you know and i'm not above using the plastic beads on the dangles either i will definitely use those if the colors are right um but i paid two dollars for it probably only worth a dollar but that's okay and let me see these butterfly stickers i think i don't know what they owe oh, 10 cents so that's definitely worth 10 cents and these um foam adhesive things i use those all the time and i was running low on them so i grabbed that for 50 cents this pretty purple fabric it's a little bit on the sheer side it's very lightweight but it's it's really pretty and this will make really nice flips and um little pieces to go on tags and there's a lot of it here so some of it might end up in my shop And then I got a, oh, sorry, I just tipped something over here on my desk. Then I got this bag of, um, I don't know what's in here, tip for $2. But what I saw, I don't remember, I saw something in here that I thought was worth the $2. So let's see what we got. We got some rickrack and some Christmassy looking ribbon. And there's all kinds of sequins floating around in there. Um, maybe it was this I saw. This really pretty um, coral colored seam binding. I don't have that color, I don't think. And it has the scalloped, the little bitty scalloped edge on it that I like. And sequins everywhere. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to clean that mess up. Okay, then what is this? A collar? I don't know what that is. I think that's it says wrap. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It's probably going to end up in the trash. This pretty lilac color. That's really nice. Um, there's a green. There's some white and some blue ribbon there. This is not very in very good condition that may not keep some peach color ribbon an extra button envelope that has no buttons in it but I like the envelope I'll use that um, this is this looks more like upholstery trim it's kind of stiff but I don't know I'll do something with it probably and this is elastic -y, so if it's in good shape, that can go in the middle of a traveler's notebook thingy. Some plum colored or wine colored trim. Some bias tape. I can't tell the color, I think it's black. Some wider bias tape, I guess. Some ribbon. Some more elastic-y stuff. And there's some light yellow, some white, and some other yellow. That's a pretty. And a bunch of red and green sequins. Which, you know, I, can, I use those. If I make shaker boxes. I haven't made any shaker boxes in a while, but... You never know. Or crafts with the girls or something. So this whole bag was $2. And that wasn't bad. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in there for $2. The full packages of the seam binding. Um, you know, I can get those pretty inexpensively. But... Um, Two dollars for several of them is pretty good. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay. Then, let's see what I have here. Um, this book, I've got picked up a couple of these books. Um, 
they've got like poems and stuff in them, but they have these really nice like watercolor type pictures in them. That one, I think I need to save that one for my beach journal that I'm almost done with. I can't wait to be done with that. Um, so that's why I picked this one up. Oh, that one's pretty. Pretty roses. So there's a lot of stuff in these, and I see these, you know, quite often in the thrift stores. Then I have... Um, another one of these books for grandparents to fill in. I have quite a few of these, but I thought this one had some kind of cool graphics and the journaling parts are like little dots instead of lines. And this one's got a nice ombre color. Um, so this one had some very different things in it from other ones I've picked up. So this will, there's a lot of material in here. And I found an old ideals. I'm learning that the older ideals are the ones with the better pictures. Um, the newer ones are nice too, but the older ones have some really, really nice and vintagey looking pictures in them. So I have several ideals, but wasn't that pretty? I have several, quite a few ideals books and I use them once in a while. I need to use them more often, probably. Oh, let's see. What else have I got here? I have more. I just have to clear a spot here to, to bring them up. Um, oh, my friend gave me this bag. She was cleaning out her sewing stuff and um, she just gave me this bag it's just some uh, buttons there's little pieces of trim there's some hem tape um, nothing there's nothing it's not vintage there's nothing extraordinary but you know I can always use buttons all different kinds different colors so I really appreciate that so once you get the word out to your friends and family what you use she's been to a couple of the state sales with me so she knows what I'd like to pick up um, they'll start finding stuff for you and giving you stuff and that's that's always fun I like that um, okay I have another bag here I think you know this oh I picked up a couple of work baskets these are from 1962 I love these. I love the ads in them. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Um, I love the ads. I'm not sure how to use some of the full pages, though. I'd like to use some of them somehow, and i just not quite sure. So if you have any ideas on how to use some of the stuff that's in these, these old books, look at that. I love that. Let me know. I know to put them on tags and journal cards and things like that, but I'm thinking like larger, like for pages or something. So I don't know. This, oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> I'm going to try this. This is the second time I've bought um, a small sewing machine. This is a hand one. I don't know if have you guys used one of these. It's in the box. The instructions are here. Everything looks like it's here on this one. The last one I bought was a little little mini sewing machine, an actual sewing machine. And there was a part missing from it, and I didn't know that. So I couldn't use it. I had to throw it away. This one I think I paid $3 for, so I'm hoping that it works well enough to do some stitching around journal cards and, and stuff like that. Um, we'll try it and see. And again, $2. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, I picked up this. Not sure what all's in here, but I think they're all bridge tallies of some type. So there's this newer one. A Canasca, Canasta score pad, but there's nothing in it. So 
but the packaging is kind of cool. Bridge score pad. Doesn't look real vintage, but that's all right. And then there's a couple of these, and these are, I guess they're bridge. Again, I don't know how you play bridge. I don't know how you score it or anything, but have a few, a couple of those. This is an older one. I thought that was pretty neat cover. Pages are a little bit aged. This one is, is pretty well aged. They're different size and style. And maybe this was what was on here. Yeah, that's SO. That's the gas company. So those are nicely aged. So those will be fun to play with. this to read. It is um, the Jane Austen Handbook, A Sensible Yet Elegant Guide to Her World. Um, it's a newer book. I don't know if it's, you know, there's this whole Jane Austen craze, you know, people go a little bit crazy over Jane Austen, and I like Jane Austen. I like her writing. Um, but the things that have come out after, you know, following her books, like, you know, continuing the story of Mr. Darcy or whatever, um, I, I tend to shy away from those because those are not Jane Austen. You can't duplicate Jane Austen and you can't write like her. So I tend to not really read those too much unless I'm looking for some light fluff reading or something that I might. But I just figured I'd pick this up and see if it really has any... Um, information about Jane Austen, but I'm kind of wondering if it doesn't. I'm not sure. I'll have to read it. And this was this little pamphlet, a literary tour guide, Jane Austen's England. Um, I don't know if this person actually went there or not. I'm going to guess maybe they did. So that's kind of interesting be good for if I decide to do a Jane Austen journal. And this is a map of Bath in the time of Jane Austen. So that's got some interesting pictures. And it tells, it has a nice map in there. It tells about different places. So that, that might be kind of fun. That those all came together in that book. And, oh, <laughs> Have you ever seen this movie? I love Hugh Grant, and uh, I saw this movie, so I picked it up. And uh, this is funny. I've, I saw this when it came out in the theaters, and it's it's a pretty funny movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to um, check it out. It's it's pretty good. Um, and I picked up these couple of old singer books. Um, let me see if there's a date in here. 1960. This one is How to Measure, Alter, and Fit. Look at that. That is so cool. This, this right here is my grandmother's. My grandmother had that exact same um, sewing machine and um, cabinet. And when I was a little girl, I used to go and she kept her thread in these drawers. And I would go to her house and I would clean up her thread drawer. <laughs> they were all, you know, tangled up and the threads were just thrown in there and stuff. And I would go clean her thread drawer for her. It was something I just liked to do. I don't know. So this, this is going to go in my journal, and I will talk about my grandmother and how I used to clean her thread drawer. But this will be fun. There's some um, lots of really cool illustrations, and it is held together by um, staples in the middle so I can take it apart, and this can be um, signature pages. So I picked up two of those, and these are like in really, really, really good condition. That's cool. And this book, I didn't really look through this book. Sorry, that caught on the bed. 
I didn't really look through this book too much. I just kind of grabbed it. It's Chinese brush painting. And it has a lot of really, really pretty images in it. So I thought that these would make really great pages too. And smaller images I can always cut. Look at that, so pretty. So I thought this was a pretty good find. Really like it. And everything's falling down. I need to put everything back in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got all of this stuff. Sorry, I don't usually like the uh, all the bag rustling and all the side stuff being done while I'm doing a video, but um, sometimes I just don't have room. Okay, this was another book about Jane Austen, the world of Jane Austen. Obviously, the person that lived at this house was a fan. Um, this has a lot of pictures in it. I'm going to guess that she went over there and um, got to visit. It's got little bookmarks in here. So this is, this will be interesting and I will probably read this and I don't know, may or may not cut it up. We'll see. But that looks fun. You know, I go to these estate sales, I pick this stuff up and I bring it home and I just drop the bag in my room until I get around to doing this video. So sometimes if it's been a week or so, I forget what I even picked up. Obviously a deck of cards, but what are they? Oh, they're shells. Okay. I think I've used some of these already in the journal I'm working on. So that's those. And I have one more bag of what I picked up today. Just got back from an estate sale today. And I dropped the bag in my room and thought, you know what? I need to put this stuff away. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video done. All right. So one of the things that I got, don't laugh. <laughs> I got one, two, three, four of these bow hair clip things. Um, now, the reason that I got them was for the tool. Okay. I like to use this on... Um, clusters, you know, behind the elements and stuff in the backgrounds. So do you understand why I got these? I know you do. So there's a green. They're pretty um, snarly and, and crumpled up and stuff. Hold on one second. I have to go shut my door because my husband just walked in the house and he'll come in. He knows if I have the door shut, then I'm recording. And he won't come barging in and talking and stuff. Um, so there's this gold. So I got green and gold and blue. See, they had a they had a comb on them. So I'm guessing they put them in their hair. I don't know if I'm gonna use this part of it at all, but I really just got it for the for the tool. There's blue and there's pink. And these were all shoved in a box. And in the bottom of the box, there was a whole bunch of, all I could see was a whole bunch of pink tool. <laughs> I don't know if there was a tutu in there. I don't know what it was, but I didn't need that much of it. So I just picked up these. And I picked up, what is this? Oh, another one of these books. Um, one of these, tell me your, <clears throat> excuse me, tell me your story books. Um, it's got pretty blue lines on it and that's what I use out of these. Um, sometimes also I'll look through these and if there's like different, oh, brother, I'm knocking things over again. If there's different or unique, um, questions in these books, I will go ahead and 
use those questions as a journaling prompt in my own journals. I have one journal where I, I did that, where I took one of these books, not a grandmother book, but just a, a book with questions in it. And it was really thick, thick book. And I went through and I picked out a whole bunch of questions and I cut them into little strips and I put them in the front pocket of the journal. And so when I feel like writing, I just go and I pick a um, question and use that as a writing prompt and do a page in the journal based on that prompt. So that's an idea um, with these kind of books is to um, use these as writing prompts. If you're stuck for what to write about or what to put on a page, there's like really good ideas in here for that. So, and this was a, a Susan Branch one. So I thought that this was pretty nice. And this, this would make a really nice journal too. Maybe. We'll see. I have so many that I'll never get to them all. And then I got... Oh, these are for, these are for my husband. We have a bunch of 45 records. And I don't think we had any of these. So those are for him. And I got this. I think I got this pretty much for free because I brought all this stuff up and he's um, adding it all up and he had kind of set this aside a little bit. He added it all up and he told me a total price and um, it was way less than I had expected to begin with. And so I said, okay, I gave him the money and took the stuff and ran. <laughs> um... This, I have a couple more of these that I had picked up a while back, and I've used them several times in my journals. These are um, watercolor, like, instruction books. They're patterns to do watercolors. Look at that. And look at how big this paper is. They make excellent, excellent um, signature pages. And look at how pretty. They're so pretty. So this is, um, I was surprised to see another one because I don't see them very often, but look at that. <gasps> oh, so I can't wait to use some of these fun, fun stuff. And uh, just a couple more things. Oh, I picked this up. It's from 19 it was not five dollars the guy put the, put the price sticker on there i don't know why i only paid a dollar for it um it says special pages for your pocket day timer and it, there's to be done today and they come in different colors there's yellow and the blue ones say notes notes and memos made in January okay and then there's some blocks expenses for September November 10th auto mileage record at first I thought these were like um, I thought they were carbonated copies of the same thing, but they're not. They're all different pages in here. That's a calendar. Some note pages. So that was pretty cool. I can do a lot with those. And I got this box of... Which I can throw that box away. Uh, I'll probably throw that away too. These are, um, you know, page protectors, which I will use either in my scrapbooking or I am working on a, um, a three ring binder journal and these will be good in there. You can slip pictures in here. You can use these to make shaker boxes. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with these, but I do use these in my scrapbooking if I don't use them in my journaling. So that was a good little buy. 
And anything else? Let me see. Oh, one more thing. I got these. I don't know what he charged me for these. Probably 50 cents. But I can cut them up. I don't know if they're hand done or not. But there's two of them here. So, that... I believe is my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find found something in there that you thought was um, wonderful. And if you did, tell me what it was and what you would do with it. Um, so until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.